players. Top players are going to be there as well. It's going to be a massive event, and that'd be awesome if you yeah. guys can make it pretty, out to Pretty that. big charity event invitation between Street Fighter V and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. 10k pot in the money. Of course, commentators will also be there to help out, help out cast, cast some great games. So definitely check it out at the OC Goodwill Invitational event. That's going to be April 27th to 28th. 27th will be the last chance qualifier mm -hmm. for anybody who did not qualify for the main event. All right, well, both players are going to go ahead and communicate here, of course, which stage they want to go to. I'm, um, I'm curious to see if Zaki actually knows if Yo-1 actually means D3. Because <laughs> I, I actually am curious to see how Zaki will play the D3 ditto. As a matter of fact, I'm one of the few people who can tell you outright. I don't even know how the D3 did it works. I don't know, and I like <laughs> that you call him D3 because it's just it's, <laughs> it's just repetitive saying DDD. So yeah. that's, I might even pick that up from you. But um, yeah, it's gonna be interesting to get the ditto. I feel like we're just gonna see a lot of Gordos flying around everywhere, and it's gonna be interesting. Probably just gonna hold shield, and I like it. I like the heavies in this game. I think they're fun, and this is gonna be a very fun set to watch. I'm excited. Yeah, and of course, let me give my friend Yo One the plug here. Of course. Yo one is definitely one of those players who actually does art as well. Oh, he does. Mm -hmm. Okay, I had no idea. What is like? What does he do usually? Like, does he make? I'm I'm trying to find his Twitter. There it is. So definitely check him out on Twitter. It's it's gonna be No Yoichi. So it's N O Y O I C H I. He does some art. He's definitely an artist. So definitely check him out on his Twitter. Of course. Pretty good artist. Nice I'm shout out. Of course, I talked about it, right? Both players being a D D3 main. Let's see how this did will work. I mean, D3 kind of received a couple changes, and they even nerfed him. They nerfed the Gordos, one of the most highly used projectiles originally in mm -hmm. the online scene. That's why it was kind of nerfed. Nerfed. But, yeah. like, it's still annoying. It's still a pretty annoying projectile to deal with. Um, but, all right, okay, man, 75% already. He just got hit with, like, three moves, and there, there it is. I do see the fact that Zaki doesn't waste time to make sure that even when Yo-1 is off the stage, he's going to make sure he's out there to stop him from recovering. That's kind of one of those things that Zaki kind of understands. Like, don't get, if my opponent's going to be busy for a Goro setup, it means it's my time to go in. Oh, okay, right back at you. Getting it twice, they just kind of bounced off each other, and that's already 65 damage. Um, trying to go for the suck and cut there, but... Yeah, Zach, Zach, we're just going to see a lot of uh, both of these players shielding. And, and yeah, just waiting for one of the others to just throw out the first option here. Speaking of shield, shielding, man, that's the shield punish immediately from Zaki. Gets Ooh. the grab, puts Yoichi off the stage here, and there's the Gordo able to cover that recovery. What do you do when you're DDD off the <laughs> stage? Like, you're just hopping around. You're so slow. And that's the thing right there at the situation, right? Because he could have gone for an up B, but the problem was that he's so far off to the right, mm -hmm. it would have akin to being akin for Zaki to get another edge card. I talked about it earlier, right? Having options to cover other options goes such a long way, and Zaki already feeling himself, putting Yoichi off to the corner here. There's the corner play, but Yoichi trying to buy time with a couple Gordos. Oh, being it's, it's really scary too that uh, we're seeing uh, Yo One just kind of uh, jumping like right above Zaki. So mm -hmm. Zaki's like underneath him, and he's just trying to land. But it looks like a really scary position, and we're seeing him in that position a lot actually. That's how I'm seeing him take a lot of his percent here. Mm -hmm. He just he needs to stick more grounded here. He's kind of floating around too much, and I feel like that's putting him in a bad position. Yeah, and I feel like that position where he was, right, I mentioned earlier, if Yoichi is going to take time to set up a Gordo to make a recovery, Zaki's just going to go out there. He's going to waste no time. Tr Gordo trade going to be in Yoichi's favor. Opportunity to get a down air, but he missed it here, and Zaki with the recovery. <laughs> There's the neutral air to cover the other option, and Yoichi responds in kindly. <laughs> so funny. We got two penguins playing here. And the only that's penguins funny. I want to see is Leffen and Gluttony, <laughs> but hey, I'll make do with your one finally able to get a stock. Gonna catch him with that Gordo. Get out of here is what he's saying. Get that out of my face. And it's uh, they slow it down, right? Yeah. For the Gordo to just like that's yeah. And you actually you have to make, that in so many different ways. You have to make sure you hit the Gordo with a specific uh, time rate because you actually can't hit it back. If you hit it a little bit too late or your move is not strong enough, it'll actually just hit you and trade poorly. Set the Gordo up high to cover the low recovery. Yeah, that was course, a good up B. Able to power through the first hit of Gordo, but of course that bounce around. Not going to be able to allow Yoichi to come back. Zaki controls the stage and the pace here. It takes two to dance, but Zaki's the one leading Ooh. the charge. There's the opportunity oh for Yoichi. <laughs> that was actually kind of scary. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> oh, that, that hit underneath. Hit yeah. And even Esam called. He yeah. extended up. Thank you, Esam. Even call that out. He was charging that up, the forward smash. He was. And that's yeah. kind of that's kind of what extended his hurt box. 
So that's kind of one of the things you need to understand when you go for moves like that, extending your hurtbox and your hitbox as well. Those are two things that go into It's like a double-edged sword exactly. pretty much because you're also making uh, yourself a bigger target. So mm -hmm. therefore, uh, yeah, that did connect and yeah. that did take the stop. And, and heavy sense to usually fall for it, fall in that vein there. You actually have a big hurtbox. So when you're out, out there for that forward smash and you're getting hit, it's no surprise that you got hit by it. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you get a little greedy, you're going to want to, like, he was going for the option, which he, in his opinion, he thought he needed to do it, right? Oh, I respect He's, the song. I'm so sorry. I no, respect no, the it's song. good. It's good. <laughs> um, but yeah, he had to go for something big, and that's what he was trying to go for. Mm -hmm. but, oh, man, the yeah. jacket is off. The music is set, man. Even hey. Zaki scratches for it, and he's like, hold <laughs> on. This is, this is going to be a more heated one. This is going to be a more heated one. All right, in the back of Dreamland, I like how people are picking the stage. I actually would have picked it. um, I would have picked FD Found of Dreams. That would have been me, but hey, man, I love that stage. That's me. <laughs> no, I do too. I wish it was legal. <laughs> hey, man, Patch 3.0, man. No, give me Joker Dreams and Found of Dreams itself. All right, Yoichi trying to come back on the stage. Zaki raised the back okay. and he sees the high recovery, sees the up air. Oh, yeah. Oh, good bear, too. He's just dominating off stage here, not even letting Yo One get back onto the stage, not even giving him a chance. <clears throat> really oh, good edge guard. Man, there's the big boy play, <clears throat> but no big boy victory Excuse here. Me. Zaki sucks up the Gordo and throws it back off. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> a little, a little, a little <laughs> bit of a standoff here with the inhale. A good parry, too. I feel like parrying is also going to make it and break it in uh, top level play as well. It's very important and critical, especially for Dittos. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that Gordo! It's so good because he could have gotten a two from at the platform, but he had the Gordo up there. So even if Yo One went up with the up B, he would have covered that option too. There's the Gordo out there yet again in play. Zaki taking a step back, goes up or sets his own Gordo. Tries and air dodging down onto the stage, but didn't even matter because there was yeah. still lag, um, which we was unable to shield in time. But all right, Yo One's kind of struggling to find to take this last stock here. Um, and he's really respecting, that's a big difference, is Yo One is really respecting Zaki offstage. He's kind of scared to go off and get, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the ledge trapping or the edge guards offstage. Well, he just read his get up yeah, option yeah. there, but I mean, that was the difference that we were seeing with Zaki's not scared to go off, like we're seeing right now, oh. to go for risky moves or just properly getting that um, offstage edge guard. So that's something Yo One's, we're going to have to see him doing or attempting. Because I feel like that's super critical for this Ditto. Mm -hmm. Zaki looking to waste no time yet again when Yo One's off the stage. That's kind of one of the things he's not afraid to go, right? Risk it for the biscuit and mm -hmm. pay the money for the bank. Exactly. Goes up, gets the Gordo trade here. Zaki makes sure he has one. And you mentioned it earlier, right? Zaki kind of staying a little bit more grounded, and that's what's causing Yoichi some problems here. Mm -hmm. He spends so much airtime, and Zaki just goes out there and punishes him for it. Or he'll stall his Gordo, so that mm -hmm. way it's still bouncing in the option, so it's really limiting his uh, movement mm -hmm. options for sure. But all right, that was fun.